guys this is a reading for December I know I am late um, but I am here now for you guys I've had some things going on trying to get some shit together and yeah life has been happening okay so let's see and then I'll turn around and come right back with um, some mid months for you guys as well you show me the energy that is currently around <clears throat> my Leos. What is the energy around my Leos? What is the energy around Leos currently? The Eight of Cups. Feeling emotionally depleted. Um, this is Piscean energy. This is when you feel like there's nothing left in a situation for you and you basically have removed yourself on an emotional level. Um, some of you are still in this situation and have not physically walked away, but this is basically like walking away, but you know, you may still be there. You've taken your emotions out of it. You've taken your feelings out of it. There's nothing left there for you. Okay is um, what's going on for a lot of you okay <clears throat> what's crossing my leos the four of swords there's a situation that you left behind that was just really getting on your freaking nerves it was causing you a lot of of heartache and disappointment and um so now you're you're leaving that situation or you're you're basically deciding to um not deal with that situation any longer okay for your own peace of mind here you need peace of mind you need clarity you need to like regroup and and think okay libra energy there this underlying issue here for leos underlying issue for leos seven of swords hmm this is Aquarius energy um, this is basically you know emotionally you have removed yourself um, from a situation and I don't know why but it's like the, the issue here is that there was some sort of um, deceitfulness maybe some cheating or some kind of situation where somebody did something here towards you or you guys did something towards someone else that you felt like was not warranted um, that this person did this on purpose almost like you know <clears throat> there was a setup here setting you up for failure um, but there's definitely somebody who has done some things or said some things that they knew would hurt the other person, but they did it anyway. So that's the underlying issue here. Um, it could be you that did this or it could be somebody that did this to you. So I'm, I'm actually seeing that um, there's a situation going on currently where whatever has happened, you are not pleased with that okay and I'm feeling that like you need a chance to kind of regroup um, think about some things figure out your next move is what's going on here okay in the recent past for Leo's king of wands hmm I feel like you were standing you know in your power um, the king of wands is an individual that they do a lot of things. They take on a lot of projects. They they are um, supervisors on jobs. You know, they are good at um, taking control of situations and making the most of situations here. And that's who um, you guys are and who you were. I feel like there's a situation that kind of like threw you off a little bit, where. Um, you probably gave more to the situation than you would have normally is a thing and uh, maybe somebody took that for granted and you are yeah you're not pleased with it not pleased with it at all crowning thoughts for my Leos the will of fortune Sagittarius 
Piscean energy. Um, you, you're looking for some change in your situation. Okay. And the Wheel of Fortune is all about changes. It's not necessarily about, you know, good things happening. What this says is that everything changes at some point in time. All right. So if things are down, here they come back up. If things are up, they're going to come down. It's like a constant flow of energy. You know, it's not stagnant and it's going to change. So I'm feeling like your situation is such that you're not pleased right now and you're just hoping for um, some sort of change, some, some something good, some luck to come your way in this situation here. Okay. <clears throat> it's coming in. Okay. All right. It's coming in. The King of Cups. Huh. Emotionally stable. Emotionally stable. I get that you guys have been angry with someone. And it could have been a fire sign like yourselves. It could also be somebody that um, uh, is Pisces or Sagittarius energy. Um, Aquarius, Libra, Scorpio energies here. But I feel that right now... Um, I think your emotions are kind of settling down what's coming in for you you will get to a place where you are content and happy um, I do see that some of you are probably entering into um, uh, relationships or situations that you feel like are emotionally fulfilling okay how is Leo viewing this situation seven of cups your current situation is quite confusing to you because there's something that wants to, there's something in you that kind of wants to go back. There's something in you that um, makes you feel like, you know, you don't really know what to do in this situation. You know you're not pleased with it, but I'm getting that you don't really know how to, to change it. Okay? I do feel like you guys have options. You don't really know um, which of these options is better for you. I think there's a little confusion going on. I think you're still, your heart is still somewhere else even. Scorpio energy. What is the influence here for Leo's judgment? You don't know what to do. You know you have to decide what you want to do. Um, but you also know that when you make this decision that excuse me when you make this decision is going to be you know for the long term not necessarily forever because again there's nothing constant in this life but change so you know n nothing is forever so but it is going to bring longevity in whatever decision that you make okay um and you see judgment is, is blowing the horn right down here on the Seven of Cups. What do you want? You know, how do you truly feel in this situation? Are you leaning one way more than another? You know, <clears throat> your heart, your intuition is trying to, is trying to tell you something. Um, Scorpio energy is here very strongly, okay? Let's see. Hopes or fears for Leo. The moon. That you'll be able to see things clearly. That things will be revealed. Your hope is that things will be revealed. Things will become known to you. Um, maybe somebody will tell you how they really feel. Um, yeah. There, there are some deep feelings here for someone. Um, you have a lot of water in your reading. So I get that You know, this time is, is very emotional for you. Um, very emotional for you. There's something that has happened that has shaken you guys up. and um, But keep this in mind, guys, that, you know, if, if something's really horrible, if you're feeling really horrible right now about a situation, there's not going to be long before there's a change that occurs, okay? But you have to, <clears throat> excuse me, you have to speak it. You have to feel it. Do not sit up and, and, and talk about what you don't want or dwell on things negatively um, that have happened before. Think about what you do want and speak that out there. Manifest what it is that you want into your life, okay? Your fear is that you won't know. You won't know what to do. 
you won't know how they feel. Okay? Cancerian energy there. What is the overall outcome here for Leo's? Ten of Swords. Feeling stabbed in the back. Feeling rejected. Um, there's somebody I feel like that really has betrayed your trust. And I feel like you were at one point willing to step up to the plate and, and basically, you know, step outside of your comfort zone and be there for this person. But there's something that you feel like this person has done to you that um, it, it's kind of unforgivable, but your heart is still with them somewhat. Your heart is still with them somewhat and... Um, you don't really know what to do about them. But I do see you gaining your emotional stability. I do see you gaining contentment. Um, but your fear is that you will not know what to do with this person. Or do with this situation. Because your feelings are still there regardless of what they've done to you. Um, maybe there is an ending. Somebody cheated on you. And maybe there is a breakup that is ensuing. Um, but even though you still care for this person. You can't get over what they did. You know, this is Gemini energy here with the Ten of Swords. But um, there is a change ensuing. It's just up to you to decide, you know, how this plays out from, from here on. Okay, so that's what I have for you guys. And I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye.